What's up there, guys? I'm Pete Mundo, heartlandcollegesports.com. It's time for our two-minute preview. We'll start with Baylor hosting Kansas State. It's brought to you by betnow.eu. Use the promo code HEARTLAND for a 100% sign-up bonus. We're using them. I hope you do as well. They help us, and you help us by signing up, so we appreciate that. All right, so this game, Kansas State on the road against Baylor. K-State's defense certainly looked better last week, only giving up 10 points against Texas. That was at home. It was as much of a must-win game as you can have in September. Bill Snatter needed to silence some of the doubters. He was unable to do it. We'll see if Skylar Thompson gets the start this week. Who knows? That might have changed the way that game turned out last week had Skylar Thompson played the entire game. So didn't look like Snyder was still all on board with Skylar Thompson, at least based on what he said to the media so far this week. So I still have doubts about what Kansas State's doing at quarterback. Baylor gets blown out by Oklahoma. Not a shocker there. The spread was almost 24 points. But now Baylor's back home. They're playing a Kansas State team that is struggling on offense, and the defense, once again, was better, but it hasn't been great this season by any stretch of the imagination. So I think Baylor's going to be in Waco. They'll be more comfortable. They have a ton of offensive weapons, and they knew, know how to use them better than Texas does. The defense is shaky. It's scary. But Kansas State, the offense, even with Skylar Thompson, is still relatively inept. I think these are two teams that are going to finish in the bottom three of the conference, eight or nine. You can flip-flop them. This might be, you know, the winner of this game finishes in eighth place in the Big 12. The loser finishes in ninth place. That could be very well what this game is all about. So I like Baylor in this game. I just think they're going to have enough offensive weapons to get through a K-State defense that I'm still not in love with by any means. And Kansas State does not have enough offensive firepower to keep up even against a mediocre Baylor defense. So give me the Bears by a final of 27 to 21 over Skylar Thompson, Bill Snyder, and the Kansas State Wildcats in Waco. Thanks for joining us. Please do subscribe. We got much more coming right here on HeartlandCollegeSports.com.